Question 1. In a mathematics test, the following marks were obtained by 40 students. Arrange these marks in a table using tally marks. So, we have to arrange them in the table by the help of tally marks. Number A. Find how many students obtained marks equal to or more than 7. Now B part. How many students obtained marks below 4. So, this is your tabular representation. We will make three columns namely marks, tally marks and number of students. Tally marks are the marks that we make or represent in order to show the data. So in first case we will use it as follows. Number one we will write number one. We will put one because it has one count and we will find we will search for one again. Again we get it and we'll mark. This, this is a pipe sign. Then we count it. This is two times. Similarly, we will write 2 now and we will search for it. So here we don't have, we see it in first row. So we mark one time and then we see it second time, we mark second time and we see it third time, we mark three time and we see again. So we don't find it another time. So we conclude that, that these are three in number. For three, one time. This is your one time we put one time mark and then we check we get second one this is your second one we put second pipe sign and then we move on we see third here and we put another pipeline and we don't see anyone so we conclude again that we have three of these now we check for four so four one time put the mark second time put the mark so whenever you see any of them and we put the mark third time and then we see again we don't see we see here it is four time now we will check again we see here it is fifth time so remember fifth is a slash or the dash which cuts all the previous marks so we see it again this is the sixth time and the last is seventh time so we count it and Write 7. Using the similar method, we can find for rest of the numbers from 4 to 9. So we have done this tally marks and the table. Now find how many students obtain marks equal to or more than 7. So we have to find the number of students who got 7 or more than 7. You can clearly see that 7 here, the 7, 8, and 9. We have to count the students, number of students who got these number of marks. So we can count 5 plus 4 is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12. Now B part, how many students obtain marks below 4? So below 4 means we don't have to count 4. We will count for 3, 2 and 1. So when you count it, it is 3 to the 6 plus 2 is 8. So this is how you do your question number 1. Second. Following is the choice of suites of 30 students of class 6. So these are the suites which are liked by the students of class 6. Now A part, arrange the names of suites in a table using tally marks. And the B part, which suite is preferred by most of the students. So we will make a table. This is your table. We'll arrange it in columns that is suites, tally marks and number of students. We'll write now the suite in the table we will count it so let do we see it one time so we mark one time and we see it second time here we mark second time we see it third time here we mark third mark we see it fourth time here we mark fourth and now we see fifth time in this row only so we slash it because fifth is a slash which which cuts previous marks so we see it Six time, we put a dash or pipe sign, another seven time, this is the eighth time, ninth time, and here's your tenth time, we slash it again. Now every fifth number has to be slashed, so the total got eleven times. Similarly we'll do for burfi, so we write it and we count one time. We see and look that it is again here, second time. We put a mark 
and then we see again for Burfi and we see it in third line. This is your third mark. Now we again see we don't find any further Burfis. So this is your three time. And now similarly you can do for Jalebi. You see it one time, put it one time, and you see another time, that is your second time, second dash or pipe sign. Then you see it for third time, third dash, fourth pipe sign here, and then you see again for Jalebi, that is fifth time, you slash it. Every fifth has to be slashed. And then we have six time. This is your sixth time, and then we have the last time here, so the seventh time. We count it, 5 plus 2 is 7, and this is your seven number of students. Now, similarly, you can do for Rasgulla. This has been left for you, and it is nine times. So, when we add them all, it gives you 30. How can you add it? 9 plus 11 is 20, 27, and plus 3 is 30. So this is your A part. Now B. Which suite is preferred by most of the students? Well, pictograph. Well, this tally marks, you can easily see that 11 is the maximum number of times for LUT2. So this was your question number second. Third. Catherine threw a dice 40 times and noted the number appearing each time as shown below. So this is the outcome of the dice. Make a table and enter the data using telemarks. Find the number that appeared. So we have to make a tabular representation and find the minimum number of times, the maximum number of times, and find those numbers that appear an equal number of times. So this is your telemark here. And we have represented a table having numbers, telemarks, and how many times as the columns. So the first representation we write for 1 and we check it, this is your 1 time, we mark it as 1 and then we check again, this is your second time 1 is coming, so we mark second pipe sign and then we see it is your third time, and third pipe mark and then we see for fourth time, fourth mark and fifth one we see again, we slash it, every fifth has to be slashed, remember it. And then we go for another time, that is your sixth time, we found it and we put it. And then we see another time that is seven time so we count it now this is seven times one comes seven times when she threw the dice and similarly you can calculate for rest of the numbers and you find this table so this is your tabular representation of the dice thrown 40 times now we will find a the minimum number of times it wants to say at which number came minimum number of times so you can clearly see in your tally marks or you can count the numbers which you have calculated. The 4 is the minimum times and that number represented 4 itself. So 4 came number of times 4 only which was minimum in this case. Therefore A is 4. Now B part the maximum number of times. Now which number came maximum number of times? You can clearly see these tally marks appear to be larger and it represents 11 and 11 is corresponding to 5. So 5 number came 11 number of times Therefore, B is equal to 5. Now, C part, find those numbers that appear an equal number of times. So, you can see here in telemarks that 1 and 6 appears to have equal number of times. When you see it in number of times column, you see that they are 7 times. So, the answer here is 1 and 6 appear 7 times. So, this was your question number 3rd. Question number 4th, following pictograph, this is your pictograph shows the number of tractors in five villages. You have to remember this is the key. One picture means one tractor. So now we will do observe the pictograph and answer the following questions. Now so we will observe it number first which village has the minimum number of tractors. Now we clearly see that village D appears to have only three tractors. It is it is clearly visible from this pictograph here for village D. Which village has the maximum number of tractors? Well, this is the biggest row here. So village C has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 tractors. How many more tractors village C has as compared to village B? So we will compare C and B. This is your C and this is your B. We see 1, 2, 3, 
four and five. They have five as common, but extra she's having is three. So three tractors more. Now, fourth part, what is the total number of tractors in all the five villages? We'll count it. So one method is we count individually, that is one, two, three, four, and like this manner. But we will prefer a shortcut because it is a pictograph. We can make it an easy calculation. Look how we can do it. So we will count the columns first of all. You can see here one, two, three, and three comes five times because five villages are there. So it makes fifteen. Now count row wise: sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. There are total twenty-eight tractors. So this was your question number four. Fifth, the number of girl students in each class of a co-educational middle school is depicted by the pictograph. So this is your pictograph again. Now here is the key that one picture makes four girls. So this has to be kept in mind while doing the questions. So observe this pictograph and answer the following questions. So we will observe it and we will find A part. Which class has the minimum number of girl students? So you can see here clearly visible that last class that is eighth class appears to have minimum number of girl students. So you can see here one and half is two. So it is four plus two is six. If you take it as half the other girl. So it is eighth class which has the minimum number of girl students. Now B part is the number of girls in class six less than the number of girls in class five. We will compare class six and five. So this is your class six. We'll mark it for our reference and fifth. So we have to compare it and it is saying that sixth has less number of girls than fifth. Well, it is not the case. Sixth has more number of girls than fifth. Therefore, it is no. The answer for this question is no. Now C part. How many girls are there in class seventh? Now our reference point is class seven. You can see three. But each picture makes four girls. So four threes are twelve. Four, eight, twelve. You can also do in this way. So this was your C part, that is twelve. That was your question five. Question six. The sale of electric bulbs on different days of a week is shown below. So these are the sales of a bulb, and you have to remember this key that each picture makes two bulbs. So the question is, what can we conclude from the set pictograph? So we'll make various conclusions. Number first we can make is, on Saturday and Wednesday, there is the minimum sales of 8. So you can count it as same as well as minimum sales. You can calculate it as 4 into 2 gives you 8. This is your first conclusion. Second is, On Monday, we get 6 into 2, 12 bulb sale. And on Tuesday, it is 12 already, plus 4 is 16. And on Wednesday, go to the 8, 8 bulbs. And here, these are 8 already, and plus 2 gives you 10. So this is the profit of pictographs. So here, 10 already, and 4 added up, give you 14. Here, you can see similar like 8, with the same number of pictures. And here you can see you can take 16, these are 16 and plus 2 is 18. This is the fast way of using pictographs. This is the one of the benefit of using pictographs. And the maximum sold out of all the week is 18. So this was the maximum number of bulbs sold on Sunday. And when we add them all, we get that in a week, total sales were 86. So these are some of the conclusions we can draw from this pictograph. So this was your question sixth. Seventh, in a village, six fruit merchants sold the following number of fruits baskets in a particular season. So these are the person they sold the following fruit baskets. You have to remember that each basket makes 100 fruit baskets in this case. This is your key. Now, observe this pictograph and answer the following questions. A is which merchant sold the maximum number of baskets? B part, how many fruit baskets were sold by Anwar? And C part you have to find is the merchants who have sold 600 or more number of baskets are planning to buy a go down. 
for the next season. Can you name them? So we'll do A part. Which merchant sold the maximum number of baskets? Clearly visible from the pictograph, this has maximum number of fruit baskets. So it is Martin. B part. How many fruit baskets were sold by Anwar? We'll go for Anwar and we'll count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And seven into hundred is seven hundred. So seven hundred baskets sold by Anwar. C part. The merchants who have sold six hundred or more number of baskets are planning to buy a go down for the next season. Can you name them? Well, yes, we can name them. We'll find for six hundred. You can see one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred. It has asked for. 600 or more so we will take beyond this so these three cases we will take we will not take lakhan pal why because it is half it would be something like 550 because five complete one is half so we will consider only these three names that is Anwar martin and ranjit singh have 600 or more baskets so this was your last question question number seven